You know, the fear is COVID-19 will keep spreading in China during a very busy holiday period, including Chinese New Year next month. I want to go ahead and bring in our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. For more on this and your other health, uh, health headlines, good morning, Dr. Winter. I want you to explain more about what's really going on in China. Well, China, of course, has a very large population, but it has very low immunity. So the perfect opportunity for this virus to spread and to mutate, and that's exactly what it's doing. In fact, as you saw in that previous story there, a lot of hospitals in China now are full. ICUs running over, shortage of nursing staff, hospital personnel staff. So yeah, it's a big problem over there. Some reminds us what we had over here and could it be coming back? Well, that's the big concern, Deshara. Mm, when you say that hospitals in China are at full capacity and overflowing, here in America, COVID cases, well, they seem milder than they were years ago. Is the virus changing at all? Well, remember, it was real bad here also a couple of years, like you mentioned, and then it got better because a lot of folks had COVID and a lot of folks got vaccinated. Both those things give you immunity, but it's been a while now majority of Americans haven't had COVID or had a vaccine in the last six to nine months. That means our immunity also is low. So yeah, we're set up right now and I worry that we're going to have another spread of this. Best thing we can all do is reconsider getting a COVID vaccine. If you hadn't had one in the last four to six months, you might want to get one. And I want to talk about vaccines. Folks are now weary of vaccine, not only COVID, but flu and polio <laughs> as well. Vaccines that is. What do you say to that? Well, it's a shame that there's so much misconception, so much bad information out there about the vaccines. There's no question that there's some side effects from vaccines, there's side effects from all medicines. But a lot of studies now have shown that particularly with the COVID vaccine, the good is much better than the harm. And that's why we have mild cases now, and we're gonna see more of that if we don't get out and get COVID vaccines. So I worry about that quite a bit. The vaccines work, and we got another surge potentially coming. It's time to rethink your philosophy about vaccines if you tend to want to want to stay away from them right now. Mm -hmm. I do want to switch topics just a little bit here and talk about um, how to enjoy the new year. We know a lot of folks are going to be partying uh, this weekend. How can we enjoy the new year without those horrible hangovers from the night before? <laughs> well, I wish there was a pill or a potion that would work for that. In fact, there are a lot of them that are out there right now. All of them, been, or most of them have been studied and they work about as well as a placebo. That's a sugar pill, they just don't work. Now, a couple of things that you can do though. So alcohol breaks down to acetaldehyde in your body. That makes what makes you really sick. So the more alcohol, the more this compound that builds up, that's why you get that. So less drinking, of course, that would, that makes sense. Also, several patients have tell me this really works. So the second thing that alcohol does, it dehydrates you. The more you drink, the more you pee. So you get dehydrated from drinking alcohol. So how about a alcoholic beverage, then a glass of water, then an alcoholic beverage, then a glass of water. Doing that prevents dehydration. So those two things may help. New Year's Day is always a lot more fun without a hangover. <laughs> Dr. David Winner, I hope folks are listening to you out there. Get, okay, a drink, glass of water, drink, glass of water, all right? Then you're done. Dr. Winner, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You bet. Thank you, Deshara. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.